All right, hello, hello. All right, so we're gonna do a tutorial on the Total Battle Chess Tracker that I did. Uh, it could be found on GitHub. All right, so essentially the program, what it does is my cat. Come on. Stop. My cat. Anyway. <laughs> So that's um, when you launch a program, right? Sorry, cat. All right, manage clan, add clan. Right. Okay. Now we want to go to the second um, button. It says manage. It should say manage clan mates, but I need to fix that as soon as possible. All right. So when we go here, type in the names. Uh, double check. There we go. Uh, don't lose it right now. Okay, so what that does is it draws a rectangle, right? And then confirms it. That is one way to add a name if you're not keen on typing it out. All right, so once that's done, Right. There's a couple things in chest managed clan chest settings. So here are conditions and generally what that's gonna do is F nine is to start automation process and F ten is to stop automation process. So let's get this party started. Pressing F nine. F10. All right. So this is being tested on a 4K monitor. Uh, clan, clan stats shows you who has done what out of the most clan. Hellraiser is a little bit slacking. Hasn't done nothing. That's slacker. So quick filter, what that does is allows you to quickly filter through the the members. So L, right? Uh, P, A. I mean, you you get the drift. All right. So that is that. So once you do all this, you need to save it to disk. So save clan database or else you won't have the ability to or else you won't have the ability to uh, everything you just did right now, it might as well be forgotten. Um, but in, in the future releases, I plan on having it automatically saved when you create a new clan because that's just more work somebody has to do and I don't want that. Um, So console, window console, uh, would display nice information about the, what has gone on. So, so 
so this has told me a couple things. Yeah, what in God's carnation is going on here? Okay, all right. So this is saying, so this is OCR results. This is showing me that something worked well. Uh, in the future releases, they'll have the ability to save and maybe you know, filter it out and stuff. So that is, you know, that's some that's a nice tool right there. Um, so let's look at clan manager. So the M is for merge, and the V is for ver uh, to verify clan mates. So some cases, let's say, you know, people leave and you're not fully aware, and, you know, you don't know what planet you're on. Um, you need to verify it. So you need to, what you do is you create a text file. You have to go through the whole members. You have to type it in like a text file, right? Then you have to press V. You have to select the verification um, and my file, which is a database. You have to save it as a DB file. And then it would show up the names that do not uh, matched uh you know it will, it will basically highlight the names that are not on the verification file there we go um i just took a cat nap and um so my brain isn't really fully and um the merge function what that does is so like let's say the program is starting to um pick up some weird characters or let's say you know scrappy is doing his chest but the program reads something else and says crappy right so you're like well okay well this is obviously no member named crappy so you click on the parent scrappy in this case and then the child would be crappy okay that was not even intended um so anyway, you get the chip. So what that would do is anytime the program reads crappy, I, I'm going to just see myself out. But anytime the program would see crappy, it would add it to Scrappy's chest count. So I just wanted to, you know, get that out of the way. All right, and I'll punch with that stuff. Let's look, let's look, uh, look at export data type real quick so you want to export your um test count you are done with the period you'll click on here it automatically goes to the um, the export folder there's two file formats there's a text file and then there's a csv file which is a common space value uh, this puts it in a nice spreadsheet like, you know, you could put on Google Google Sheets. Um, so that's good. Um, you know. So then once you do that, um, um, you could add points to the total. Um, I m may fix this in the future because right now, before I even added the whole separate, um, the show individual amount, um, yeah, there's no way. So if you were to add chess points now, let's say give five points, but also select this, it would add that to the total. And that may be, you know, there's no, yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'll get that done. So what this does right now, so show total, it's just going to show the total. Show individual um, amount specified in clan requirements. So basically what that does is inside, um, requirements right if you use like certain requirements um 
you know, like common, right? Common, rare, epic, citadel, whatever. Um, and then the minimum level, and then per day. So, um, this what this will do. You know, requirements, and so let's say you got normal, right? You got rare, you got crypt, you got citadels. So what that's going to do is it's going to only export those in the header for the the, the Excel sheet. Um, and then once you do that, the reason why you need to, um, and, and additionally, the reason why you need to delete it is because right now the program doesn't know what's the chest start period and when the chest start period uh, ends so you have to manually you have to either manually delete it or you have to after you're done exporting then delete it through um the options so this is one way to quickly um search for some oh you can also if you want to load from text file so let's say you created, um, you know, clan mates by a text file, right? You can load that up and you, the program will read the text file and then load them into the program automatically. So that's a good feature. Um, and uh, this works similar to quick filter, which is L. Um, you know, it, it allows you to quickly search for something. And then if they don't exist, um, then you could, you know, add it to to um, the clanmate uh, list. All right, well, um, besides this, so yeah, um, I'll begin to start updating a lot of stuff, but that's just the basics of how to, work this program. Um, it is 4K monitor. It's um, in the future, there will be a way to customize the area that, um... okay, so right now, so I have the program read from right here all the way to here. And that's only because I don't want it to read the time left and all this other junk. So the good thing about is <laughs> the expired, um, <clears throat> the expired um, chest, they are still counted regardless. Well, thanks for watching everyone. Hope you uh, have a gist, a gist of it. Um, I think I need another cat nap and I'll be straight. <laughs>